So guys, it seems as though there are many players in this game that don't realize there are certain weapons, certain pairings of weapons in this game. And wow, all my life, look at this frame rate, lass. Jesus Louise, look, I can't even turn in a circle. <laughs> what is going on with this game? Let me quit out and go back into it. I'll be back in a sec, guys. Okay, so we'll try that again, hopefully without any loss of that frame rate. Okay, so most people, guys, don't realize that there are certain weapons when paired together that have secret animations, just like this one right here. Pretty amazing with that splash animation for sure. Now, I know of the Light Reaper Swords and these two right here, Ilana's Sword as well as Pieta's Sword. Now, there's certain things you have to do in order to be able to do these secret animations. But today, guys, I'll explain to you exactly how you do this with these two swords and what I know. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So first things first, you need to get these swords. Pieta's sword, obviously defeat Pieta, you get her remembrance. You then need to find the ball of revelations, hand it into big old dude up there. Then you'll be able to offer him remembrances for beating certain bosses. Now Ileana's sword, is it Ilana, Ileana, Ileana, who cares? The Star of Sword. This is the other one. This is the purple sword you see in my hand right there. This one you also need, but this one, guys, is tied to the Umbra ending and the true final boss. Upon you defeating this boss, you then get the remembrance to use and you can get this weapon. Now, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. I mean, if you're interested in this, just search up on uh, YouTube the true Umbra ending final boss. I mean, or just write in the name of the sword and it'll show you exactly how you do this. But for people that are watching this video that don't want to be spoiled that early in the game, as of right now, yeah, well that's how you get you get that's how you get this weapon. So once you have the weapon, you have to max both of these weapons out. And you do this with Jolinda. So you come to Jolinda and you'd level up both of these weapons. So make sure they're both fully upgraded. That's all you gotta do. Make sure so they're both uh, boss weapons so they max out at a level five i mean mine's a level six my friend dropped it for me i'm not sure how this is achieved but as you know boss remembrance weapons max out at a level five every other weapon in the game can go up to a level 10 so you know this guys you know this already don't need me to explain it so once you have that once you have both of these weapons both of them are leveled up and maxed out there's another item you need and you need to have it in your inventory now it doesn't matter which hand these are in by the way you can put these in left or right it doesn't matter but again to prove that they both need to be maxed out so if i take this off and put on my level four pirate sword you'll see now guys that this don't work i do the i do that sure the same move but it don't work now if i put the put the sword back on the level three version of it you'll see now how it does so it definitely needs to be maxed out and don't forget this uses your soul play charges as well so keep that in mind so i'm just going to rest up now the actual move itself is a secret move but in order to be able to even achieve the special animation even by doing the secret move there's another item you need but firstly the secret move now on xbox and playstation i can explain this quite easily on pc it's going to be a little more difficult so on xbox all you need to do is on xbox and playstation is press that block button the block button for me is left bumper on xbox on playstation this will be l1 and then so just tap that quick and then just press your right trigger so your right trigger there you go simple as that that's all you gotta do so tap it and let's press your right trigger i mean obviously if you're running it will do a different move but tap it and put i'm failing now guys i'm failing it is a bit of a, a difficult one to pull off but once you get the hang of it you're fine so again left bomb pad and quickly the right trigger and you do it just like so now in order to even be able to do this guys you need to get a specific item now that item is called the odd stone which I don't actually know where it is in my inventory. Um, okay, so this is it right here under consumables. Now, this item, guys, is something you need and you need to have it inside your inventory. If I drop this on the floor right now, which you won't allow me to do, well, if I get rid of this, which you can do, um, you won't be able to do this ability. Uh, I've tried it prior to doing having this odd stone and I couldn't do it. As soon as I picked this up, it worked for me. Now, the things about this, guys, is you also can hand this into Pieta which I ain't going to do because I don't know if it does remove the ability to use this special move. So I'm not going to hand that in. If someone wants to confirm that down below, I mean, if you've picked up this odd stone and you've handed it into Pieta and now you can't do this ability, 
that is why but yes do let us know down below but to get this odd stone guys you need to come to this location right here so we'll go here guys we need to go to um the ale house the lower Cowrath our house the vestige of lydia the non witch so we need to come here and that's right by the vestige i'm not gonna lie takes you a couple minutes to even come here and grab this but yeah but yeah people so let's go but this is great i mean there's probably tons of these weapons in this game that um that pair together and do this secret animation so from this actual vestige you want to come this way get out more weight tables and you want to take this ladder down push this ladder down if you haven't already then take it down then let's drop down here there will be enemies here that are going to try and attack you but don't worry about that as long as you know where you gotta go you're good so here guys there will be something you can soul flay right there so all you gotta do is do that soul flay that and then guys you are good to, it'll give you the weapon you'll see that on screen i mean not the weapon sorry the stone it'll give you the stone and once you have the stone guys you then just have it inside your inventory and you can now do this secret animation now what i will also say is it's like weird and glitchy sometimes the stone disappears outside of your inventory so it just vanishes but to get it back you simply just rest at a vestige so yeah keep that in mind too now i've also heard as well upon you having this stone inside of your inventory and you do rest at a vestige it gives you some other special kind of boss that i can't confirm i haven't tested it myself yet but i'm pretty sure that's what i did read somewhere else now the other set of weapons that you can do this with are the light reaper swords you get this from defeating the light reaper boss but there's something you need to do now it's called the paladin's request now i'll link uh, the uh, wikipedia for this down below if you haven't done this already keep this in mind again i pissed this up the fence i can't do this now i can't do it with these weapons i can't get the secret animation because i've unless i've gone to new game plus or start a new character i can't do this quest line and this quest line is needed to be completed in order to, to do this secret animation with the light reaper swords which are these right here and again i can't do it i can't do it but these are needed you basically complete that quest i don't know if you get an item and then you can do the, the secret animation with these two weapons now if you've seen and fought the light reaper already you know these guys have got some badass weapons um, badass animations on his uh, moves and i'm guessing that's what you're able to do again i can't confirm um anything it's just what i've heard and what i've read but it is supposed to be official so yes do what you gotta do so yeah i'll link that um that quest in the video description for the light reaper it's called the paladin's request you do this and then you defeat the light reaper boss you do it by summoning an npc to help you your weapons need to be plus level fives i do believe maybe after doing this as well after you've completed the quest line and got these weapons after you've brought them from the remembrance um but upon you then a slight enemy in your left and right hands you do get secret animations by doing the same moves of a quick left tap a quick tap of the left bumper and then pressing your right trigger that's actual move there but i ain't getting no animations from it but yes guys these are the secret animations you can use in lords of the fallen and they are pretty badass and there's probably loads more too in the game that we haven't seen yet and people haven't found that are tied to individual quests individual items that you can find randomly in the game and this that and the other if you know of any more please let me know down below in that comment section and there we have it guys guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one